anybody call, tell them, no, I ain't here. They in the room. Getting hot. Doing what they do. Amen? Ain't nothing wrong with weed. Weed is from the ground. The earth is saying the Bible is a good thing. To justify. Amen? Have you ever talked to people who smoke weed? Some of them dumb. <laughs> Come on, preacher. I'm just saying. I just been, I'm an ex weed smoker, and I am my dumb. I'm going to find me a job today. <laughs> Come on, preacher. Amen. Come on, somebody. Don't never leave the house. Don't you lose faith in God. When you know that what they're doing is wrong, don't you do it. I want to encourage you, don't do it. You know why? Because you don't have to. Nobody gonna make you smoke weed. Nobody's gonna make you drink. Nobody's gonna make you have sex. Now you can put yourself in that position and somebody can try to take something from you. But see, when you're in the will of God, hopefully when you're doing thus saith the Lord, then he'll stop all that. Amen? Amen? But when you see your parents doing things that's not right, don't you do it. Amen. You don't have to do it because they do it. You try to be better than what they're doing. Because you are probably the key that will change them. Do uh, you hear what I'm saying? Because you're not doing it, you might be the key that God will use to change your parents. Come on now. Because God knows what they're doing. He also knows what you're doing. Amen. And because of what you do, God will honor what you do and will bless your parents to stop doing what they do. Come on, tell it. Amen. Don't wait on your parents to do nothing. You're going to have to do it yourself. And I don't mean uh, you go up in there and burn up the kitchen. <laughs> oh, I'm hungry right now. Well, you got to wait. Dinner's not ready yet. I'm not saying be like Humphrey Bogart and Bogart your way up in there. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is when it comes down to God's business. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Amen. I'm talking to Christians. So I'm going to talk to you like a Christian. Because you know what you're doing. And you know what you're not doing. There's two sins in the world. One that you do do. And the one that you're not doing. Young people, I want to encourage you. Don't sit up there and say just because you don't smoke weed that uh, uh, you're better than somebody. Because you don't drink, you're better than somebody. Don't be around those people and you're not telling them about the Lord. Mm. Amen? Because see, if you're around people like that or your friends and you're not telling them about Jesus, then you're wrong. Mm -hmm. Do you hear me? Mm -hmm. If you're around people that you care about and if you got around your friends, you should care something about your friends. If you're around your family members, then you should care something about your family. Talk is cheap. We can say we love our friends, we love our families all we want to. But if we know that they're doing wrong and we don't tell them about the love of God or tell them that it's a better way or tell them what they're doing is wrong, then do we really love them? See, young people, I want you to grow up knowing that it's okay to tell the truth. It's okay to tell the truth. Why? Because God is true. Yes, yes. Come on now. Now remember I said there's two things. Jesus was the first thing. Uh-huh. Amen? Amen. Now we back all the way around the corner. We just came out the grocery store, now we're back on point. Amen? Amen? The second thing is read and learn the word. You got Jesus. Now just having Jesus, that saved you. That saved you from going to hell. Amen? How many people want to go to hell? You want to go to hell, raise your hand. 
I just want to see the wrong house. You know what? Nobody want to go to hell. Mm -hmm. It's nice and warm down there all the time. You have to worry about the winter time. Nobody want to go to hell. Uh. How many people want to go to heaven? Come on, preacher. Hey, come, on. come on, preacher. Praise the Lord. Now, we only got a glimpse of what heaven is all about. Amen? We, we can't even fathom what's really going on. Amen? But if you want to go there, which everybody pretty much raised their hand. Amen? Even the young ones, you guys want to go to heaven? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Young people out there, you want to go to heaven? Mm -hmm. Amen. You know how to get to heaven. See, that's the key. How do I get there? You are already there if you accept Jesus Christ. If you are saved, nobody can keep you out of heaven. There's some doctrine going around now, and I'm going to say this to the young people. I'm going to get ready to take my seat. There's some doctrine going around now. There's some teaching out there now that's saying that you can lose your salvation. And I mean, they teach you strong. They forget all about the power of the blood. Well, See, they forget all about the way that you came and the way maker. They forgot all about the sustainer. Even though you might get caught up in some mess, mm -hmm. they forgot all about the power that Jesus carries. Yeah, yeah. If you can lose your salvation, young people, then that means Jesus lied. Mm. Uh, even to the grown folks right now, if you can lose your salvation, that means that Jesus, the one you come and praise all the time, the one you sing about, the one you read about, the one that, that you talk about, that means if you can lose your salvation, then he's a lie. And the truth ain't in him. If that is true. But there are people that are teaching that you can lose your salvation. First thing I want to tell you young people, look. It's not yours to really keep. We're supposed to guard it well. Amen? But even when you guard something, every now and then something slips through the dark. It might be pretty or it might be handsome. Something can slip through your God. So I just want to let you know, don't believe it. It's not true. Amen? Now, closing, pleasant. I just want to hit pleasant on that last verse. Verse 3 says, Praise the Lord. For the Lord is good. Sing praises unto his name, for it is pleasant. God is good. We say that all the time. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. We say it now as a cliche. We don't really understand a lot of times what we're really saying. So for you young people, I want you to understand God truly, unmeasurably good. That means whatever you need, he is able to give you. He's able to supply you. Amen? Amen? So whatever you 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 want to be, just don't want to be no, no hobo. Come on now. Amen? Amen? Because you don't need God.